Hey you guys. So we are definitely in the new world, yes. Um, but one of the things that a message is coming up is that you will get through this. You will get through this, okay? And to not dwell on something that you will get through it, okay? It's really about focusing the positivity that can come out out of, out of this situation, okay? What has been done, it has been done. And would it be a lesson learned? It's something that it's like... You, if things were not done the correct way within yourself, you know, being true to yourself and doing things truthfully, then you knew it was coming, okay? And you have, deep inside you, you have a deep understanding that, yes, as much as you didn't want it to happen, it, it did. Okay? But this situation, it's an eye opener for you to move forward. And I have the element of air. Thank you, air. And I have Mother Gaia. And I have the, the ancestors here, which are my spirit animals. And... We start from from the now. You know, one of the things that you really have to understand that you guys are manifestors. Yes. There's not only just some, all of us are. And when you start to really understand that, then you are looking back as like, oh my God, yes, I kind of created all this. But if I can create that, then I can create positive results to my life, to my reality. Now, manifestation has a lot of different things to support it. But one of the things that manifestation truly supports is being in your truth, right? And that is something that um, we all, as humanity, uh, have to learn that, okay? They're letting me know it's like life, you know, as we knew it is no longer. I wish my grandpa would be here to really experience this, to see how the world is changing. Um, he was pretty sure he was right in regards that these were the end of times. But the end of times have taken a, a major change of events that it is blossoming to something beautiful, yes. Um, but I know that he's he's here energetically, and I know that he is seeing this. You know, um, it's all about energy. It, it definitely is. And yeah, I have the scrolls here, <laughs> and. If you know anything about the squirrels, the squirrels never stop working. But they're here with me right now and telling me, hey, you know, it's time to, like, just loosen up. It's time to take a chill pill. It's time to just really relax. Really just enjoy. Okay? Um, I know that it's easier said than done, but, you know, if you take that step to to loosen up, that's a major stepping stone for you, you know, 
Uh, let's see, what other message do I have for the collective? Don't dwell down on things that and are important, okay? That is one of the other messages that I'm getting. And really, truly, enjoy your life. You will be getting activations, epiphanies, you know, with this new world. It's about really connecting with everything, with everything. I want to tell you a little story and... You know, I had a fair share of cars, and um, none of them kind of stuck to me. <laughs> I was, um, you know, it was just, I just wasn't. It wasn't. So, finally, um, I paid off my car, and I am so happy. And then, but this car that I love so dear, and it's not just this car. I, I call it my alien car because it's the color green. But it has been there through thick and thin. It has been on bumpy roads. It's been on this journey with me. And she never gave up. She, uh, she says she. <laughs> she never gave up. And when you would think that she would give up, she's like, no, I'm not giving up. I'm going to be with you through thick and thin, through this journey. We're going to get this together. We're going to see the end of the result, and we will. When, you know, all of a sudden, when I got that epiphany that we were soulmates and that we, you know, I was driving, it, it really did. You know, she was meant for me, and I was meant for her, and we got through some, some times, some hard times, but we did, and we have so many experiences. It's just really a gratitude of everything that you come in contact with. You know, a tree is just not a tree. A car is just not a car. There's more to it it's energy you know it, it's very symbolic it's it's an intuitive nudge intuitive relationship you know your plans they're just not just plans right it's removing this limited belief that you have. And I think that with the new earth, this is, this is what it's all about. It's about removing that limited belief that you have. Thank you, element of air. Thank you, brothers and sisters. But yes, it's about really tuning in to everything. Everything. You know, all right, my beautiful friends, I'm going to let you go so I can start my beautiful day. Um, and like I said, you do the same thing. It's all about it really, truly um, expressing to yourself what you would want and going for that, taking action, right? You want to feel more comfortable in your, in, within your skin. Um, you know, self-love is, is, it's all connected. 
it's definitely all connected. Some people it's like, why do I have to use self-love? What do I got to do? Because, you know, um, that was some of the questions <laughs> that I hate. But um, I understand that everything is connected. Everything is for a reason. And self-love is what really keeps you moving to clear the, the vessel, right? And I have this girl right there. But, yes, more to come, more to come. And truly, really appreciate yourself for what have you, for how far you um, came, you know? That's the first thing, first thing to start off with is like, man, I came a long way. And I should be very proud of myself, you know? All right. Until next time. Namaste.